Lacey, a voice whispered, shaking a sleeping child awake. Come on sweetheart, wake up. I woke up with a start and bolted upright. The voice scared me, as it was only Angela who usually woke me up. I looked around and finally my eyes located Adam standing above me. He was already dressed in his suit. Come on, I want to show you something. He said. What am I it? I asked him, still groggy. It's 5.30. He answered. Why are you waking me up so early? I'm tired. I said to him. Oh come on sleepyhead, I wanna show you something. He said to me. Adam reached over and picked me up. He put me on his back and put his hands under my bum to hold me up. Someone is a squishy tushy this morning. He said, laughing. I know. I said back. We proceeded down the stairs and he carried me out into the backyard. He put me down and I just stood there. After he sat in the chair he motioned for me to come over. He set me in his lap and cuddled me. You see that? The sun is rising. Isn't it beautiful? He asked me, pointing to the horizon. Yeah it is. I love it. It is so pretty. I said to him, amazed by the sight. Just like you my little princess. He said to me. I was beginning to like Adam a lot. I thought he hated me, but I knew he loved me. I wanted to stay in his lap forever. We sat in silence while he rubbed my tummy and cuddled me. His watch beeped just after the sun was up. Ow. I gotta go or I'm going to be late for work. He said. Or, just say you're sick. Press. I said to him, giving him a pouty face. Sorry munchkin, I can't. Tell you what, how about we do this again tomorrow? He asked me. I would love that. I told him. Okay perfect, let's get you back up to bed so you can get a couple more hours of sleep. He took my hand and led me up the stairs back to my room. I climbed under the covers and he gave me a kiss on the forehead. Sleep well Lacey. Adam said to me. Bye bye, have fun at work. I said. He left my room and I rolled over. I drived off to sleep only to wake up at noon.